I'm here today because I want to ask Catherine Richardson some questions. And she has a vast amount of knowledge about sustainability. I think the most important thing is that an individual recognizes that our well-being and our wealth is based on natural resources. In reality, our real money, our real currency, is our resources. So everything you do, whether it's food and food waste, or whether it's use of energy in transport or in your home, or whether it's buying clothes, everything you do is related to, to natural resource use. So do it as effectively as, as possible. Obviously, <coughs> buying, um, buying fewer things, and that often means better things as well, is much, much better for the environment than buying a lot of inexpensive um, stuff that just gets thrown away and then you buy something new. So yes, absolutely, mm -hmm. buy less. What worries me even more, though, is the fact that people are getting the idea that sustainability and climate change are the same thing. And if we just solve climate change, then you know everything is going to be just mm -hmm. fine. The whole point here is that humans are now impacting the planet at the global level. That's why we need yeah. to manage our resources at the global level. Mm -hmm. So this is global change. It's not just climate change, it's global change. Mm -hmm. And I honestly believe that just as important, perhaps more important than what we're doing to climate, is what we're doing to the rest of the organisms that share this planet with us. And the biodiversity on this planet is so, so crucial mm -hmm. for, for establishing the environment, the state of the planet. The life on this planet is what makes this planet different from every other planet in the universe. We're on track to be nine to 10 billion people by 2050. And every single one of those people has a right to development. I think the next person that you should hear from is Steen Hildebrandt.